Hey y'all, it is Larry at the Tiny Cabin, and I am going for a walk, because, well, there's not a whole lot else to do. Um, oh, here comes the dog. Hi, dog. Uh, as you can see, I've got my outhouse over there. I've got metal on the roof now. It's not in any way right. It's, uh, it's really thin. It's 26 gauge. So I need something underneath it to hold it up, but I needed a roof on there, so I went ahead and threw it on there anyway. Um, I'll need to get some 1x4s or something like that to put underneath it. Um, until then, it'll work. It, uh, I had cut a little path there so I could get to the trees. I don't remember why. It just seemed like something to do at the time. Um, but... I've got, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me see if I can zoom in. Um, you can see how it kind of sags in the middle. That was that was actually intentional. Um, I've got a, a little piece of gutter on the back that lines up with the hole in my tank. So it just uh, runs down the middle of the roof and straight into my tank. So hopefully we'll actually get some rain someday. We haven't had any. It's, uh, well, you can see how dry it is. The only, uh, condensate, the only, the only, uh, moisture we've had is condensation or freezing. Um, there's, you can see the game trail I mowed across. And, of course, Brian's found it, too. And, of course, out here somewhere, Brian found, uh, coyote turds or deer turds or something. And had to roll in it, of course. So he stunk for a few days. So anyway, this is the uh, path that I mowed the other day with the push mower. Um, I was feeling a little better then. I've been having some chest pains here lately. Uh, you can see. Well, I can see. I don't know if you can see. Um, yeah, there you can. There's an RV up there on uh, one of the other properties. It is hunting season. Um, let's see, deer season, um, normal gun opened yesterday. It was, uh, it was like a war zone here. Uh, somebody was actually shooting an automatic. I, uh, I don't know how anybody expects to get any deer around here at all with all that noise going on. I mean, seriously, someone was using an automatic. What the hell do you shoot with an automatic? Except other people. So, yeah, we've had a bunch of morons from Texas here. Um, it's like the, the people that uh, can't play nice with others get kicked out of Texas and sent here to, to hunt, and then they make life hell for everybody here. They, uh, I got run off the road the other day by some guy from Texas because... He wasn't smart enough to figure out that a uh, one-vehicle bridge, you don't put two vehicles through at the same time. Oh, somebody's shooting over here back back this way. Anyway, so I mowed up to here, and I was planning on mowing a little further back, um, going through or around this, and then way back over there um, by that road drive thing there's a persimmon tree that uh, I picked a few off of and snacked on a bit um, so I wanted to make an easier way to get to it I mean I can take the Suburban and drive up the path and then it's only uh, I don't know maybe 50 feet from there but but it needs mode because it's uh, there's a lot of blackberries back there. Wow, they're really going at it over there somewhere. So I'm not sure how long deer season lasts here, but I hope it's over soon. I hate uh, cowering down in my cabin because I don't trust other people to shoot guns and not, you know, have them aim toward my house. And, of course, there's the dog. 
I'm worried about the dog because, you know, he looks a lot like a deer to uh, some of these morons out here. Somebody, uh, same time one guy was firing off an automatic. Um, I, it had to be an automatic. You can't pull the trigger that fast. And it, it went on for a bit. So I think it was just some Yahoo out here playing. But um, Somebody else went through, I have no idea if it was clips, magazines, you know, what. But I swear a dude went through like 30, 30 shots just consecutive. Bang, 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 bang. I don't know what the hell he was shooting at either. If it takes 30 shots to hit what you're shooting at, you suck. Um, so he should just get a new sport, like, you know, competitive crocheting or something. Anywho, um, here is the outhouse and my dirty dishes. I haven't done them yet because it got cold. Uh, there's my thingy-mabob. I need to get a piece of, uh, piece of drain, you know, uh, downspout to go from there directly into the barrel it actually does run into the barrel right now but if there's wind like there is at the moment it can blow it out so that it hits on the side instead of in it uh, washed the suburban yesterday can't tell well you can in that you can see out the back windows now but other than that you can't tell uh, I got the lawnmower drug over here I don't remember if I mentioned that already or not Used, uh, couldn't find a, uh, well, I don't have a tow strap. I didn't have any rope or a chain or anything, so I used the dog leash. And, uh, it actually held up. I was quite surprised. Um, and it's, it's hunter orange, too, so, you know, that way we didn't get shot when I was doing it. Um, I do believe that's about it. Um, I used some of the, uh, roofing to make, uh, skirting on the cabin because uh the wind blows through there pretty pretty good oh here comes somebody this this road has been just ungodly busy here lately too uh, a lot of rvs headed back toward town so they must be leaving for the weekend we're out for the weekend i'm guessing and they're headed back home now it's it's sunday um mom will be coming here tomorrow Allegedly for Thanksgiving So I need to clean up around here a bit and everything um, Obviously she will not be staying in the tiny cabin since there's room for me and the dog and that's it She'll be uh, sleeping in her van or the suburban whichever Still got to get uh, some kind of cover for the generator uh, I did mow down to the creek. Well, what should be a creek? But it being a drought year, there is there is no creek. Um, somebody's been dumping their trash over the bridge into the creek. Here's uh, here's the creek. This is the one that was a big raging, uh, big raging white water river last year. This is what it, this is the way it's been the whole time I've been here this year. I've been here almost a month now. Um, yeah. And right up there by the bridge, actually kind of almost underneath the bridge, a couple bags of trash that some jerkwad dumped down there. I need to go get that. Um, since trash disposal isn't easy around here. Um, or it wasn't. It's it's much easier now, thankfully. Uh, new guy bought the, bought the Daisy store, the uh, gas station convenience store thing. And he's really cool. Um, the previous, well, it wasn't the owner, it was, uh, the girl that worked there. She was, uh, she was not the friendliest person in the world. Um, so I didn't go there very often, but the new guy, he's, he's really cool. He's actually, uh, he's actually from up by, uh, Prepper Nurse 1. Uh, he's, uh, he's not from Greece, New York, but he's from near there. That he used to, when he was in high school, they used to play the team from Greece. So... He's not from this area either. So, uh, 
makes it uh, makes us oddities. Most people from here are from here. Um, but he's really cool and he's letting me dump my trash in his dumpster and stuff. And he also has a, a water spigot I can get water out of. He charges a quarter a gallon for the water. Um, since he has to pay for it, it's, it's, uh, you know, county water, I guess. It wouldn't be city, because there's no city. Uh, so he has to pay for it, so, you know, it's right for him to charge for it. Um, he hasn't charged me anything for dumping my trash yet. Um, I tried, but, you know, he was like, nah, go ahead. I was like, okay, cool. So, got, uh, that taken care of for the moment. Um, we are pushing 11 minutes so i've been babbling way too long again so i will get off here and uh because there's really nothing new um it, uh, it did freeze last night it was 28 29 something like that um now it's i don't know 55 maybe i uh, suppose supposed to be 60 today i think it's the high later today so and monday Starting Monday, it's in the it's in the 60s, and the lows are in the 50s. So it, it'll be it'll be decent. I think actually the high may be in the 70s. So it'll be decent when Mom's here, and uh, she needs to leave for the first of the month. So she'll get out of here right when uh, right when the cold comes back. So anywho, anywho, I am going back in and I'm gonna make the dog come back in. Dog, come in. And I will talk to y'all later. See ya.